Here's how you know if you have a good holster that works for you. If you go to the range and you're running drill after drill after drill using that holster, a lot of unholstering, shooting, reholstering, if you're constantly doing that throughout the day like I have done on countless occasions, and during that process you're more thinking about trigger control, side alignment, all those fundamentals of shooting, and you're not thinking about your holster, that pretty much says to me it's a good holster. The Vamoose version 2 De La Rosa task Tactical Holster is such a holster. Let's take a look at it. De La Rosa Tactical Holsters, what you're looking at is the single and double loop Vamoose version 2 inside the waistband holsters. And these are some great holsters. I've used his stuff before. I went down to front sight and ran one of his outside the waistband holsters down there. I think it was called the Sheepdog and enjoyed it very much. And I've since moved on to these. And I have used these two holsters for not weeks, not days, but I've used these things for months. And not only have I used them on a day-to-day -day basis as part of my concealment carry, but I've also used them in a variety of different drills out at the range. So I've really put these holsters through their paces. And let me tell you, they've worked great. So let's just jump right into it. Here is the double loop. Vamoose version 2, double loop meaning this. This is my Glock 19 in this holster. And we'll kind of do both these holsters at once. There are some differences that you can do with these holsters, but generally speaking, they are pretty similar. So obviously for the little bit bigger guns, you're gonna have a double loop here. This one can be used for appendix carry as well. I haven't tried that, to be honest with you. I, I like to carry strong side about 3 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock position. But you can use this one. This one isn't set up so much to do the appendix carry. It's not, but the double loop is. You can also adjust the cant on this by taking this strap and moving it up, and you can adjust that cant of the holster, which is nice. I just, I've just left it in this one. I tend to like it straight up and down. But... The quality on these are really good. And like I said, I've put them through their paces and they've held up great. No problems with them, no cracking. They're not brittle. They're great holsters. Let's take a look at this little guy. This is for my XDS 9mm. Let's look how this is set up. It has an injected molded strut right here at the bottom and it's connected to kind of an extra piece down here on the holster. And what David has done is pretty much move this as far down as he can without going too far, but without going too far up to make it a comfortable carry and to make the gun um, sit well when you're carrying it. Also, here's your uh, strap that's gonna go around your belt piece. These are what they call pull the dot snaps. What I like about these is if I pull this way, it's not coming out. I mean, you can see the type of tension that this has. Now, if I pull directly from the top, it's gonna to be a little rigidity, but you can see those things are gonna hold. So it's not one of those that you put in your belt, it's constantly coming undone. That's certainly not something you wanna do. While I'm at it, you do have some adjustments if you need to. But that's one thing I like about the snaps. They go on easy, but they don't just pull right off. And that's something you want in a holster like this. Also what he's done, and it'll show up really well with the Vamoose well, doing the double loop. See how the sights area is cut really high? The reason he's done that is because if you put aftermarket sights on, like I have my Glock, you can see how these kind of ride a little bit high. So that way, if you do choose to do that, it's not going to interfere with those aftermarket sights. It'll sit just fine. Now, also, I wanna to call to your attention, see how snug this fits right here? See how it kind of floats out right here? Well, it's supposed to do that. And why? Well, that's attention to detail. Let me show you. So, in order to make this adjustment, you have a, the screw back here and there's a piece of felt 
that's on there. And honestly, I have never noticed it until right before I did this review. I just got looking and I'm like, I have never noticed that. Obviously that's put there to protect your gun so it doesn't scratch it. But uh, again, that's why this floats out just a hair is to give this a little bit of room in there to work, which also gives you the flexibility to make those adjustments to the cap if you want to. Here's a nice view of the fit on the XDS. One thing I like about this is when you're going in, you're getting that high grip. Watch this side, watch my thumb. What I'm grabbing here is gun. I'm not grabbing holster if the holster would come down here. Same thing on this side. It just gives you a nice purchase and then you're pulling out. Now this is, they fit so good that actually when it's just sitting like this, they're a little tough to get out. But now all you're grabbing is gun. Now what I find is in the pants, they're, they're just fine. But you can see that's not going anywhere. Yes, these have been safety checked. These are great holsters. They hold the guns in there just fine. So you don't have to worry about losing these if you were to take a tumble down somewhere or realistically, I mean, why do we carry? I mean, if you were to get in a scuffle, these aren't gonna be coming popping out. One thing to note about the single loop version is this is actually, you can switch this to get a right-handed carry or a left-handed carry. All you've got to do is take out these screws and then remove the strut, flip it the other side, and now it's going to be a great holster for you lefties out there. Now this one, the double loop, you're not going to be able to do that on, but you can get this set up for a left side carry to begin with. If you're interested in these guys, check them out. Like I said, I've been running them for a long time and not just in daily carry for a week or a month. I've been running these for months and going through a lot of drills. So these have seen a lot of action with these guns and I've really enjoyed the holsters. So check out uh, De, La Ro De La Rosa Tactical Holsters.com. I'll put a link somewhere either on the video, probably um, both in the video and in the description box and go ahead and take a look. Now there's also a discount, a 10% discount for this for the rest of this year, which is 2014. So use the code that is annotated on screen and you can get 10% off your order. Very easy on and off process. You can see you just slide it down wherever you want. Again, I prefer that three o'clock position. Then I just feed the loops under my belt loop, snap them on, and you're good to go. So this is the Glock 19. You can see that is definitely a fatter piece. It's that double stack and we're looking pretty good. Change it over to the XDS and no surprise there being that it's much slimmer than the Glock 19. You can't see it in there either, but uh, conceals very nice. Well, let's put on a tighter t-shirt and the funny thing about this t-shirt is I didn't mean to get it this tight, but uh, it shrank. <laughs> it's one of my favorite t-shirts. Well, let's take a look at what it looks like in a much more form-fitting t-shirt. Again, this is going to be a much slimmer t-shirt, slimmer fit, and you can still see it hides it pretty well. Now, this is the XDS. Certainly not going to hide the Glock 19 as well, but even with this t-shirt, it really doesn't stand out too much. You can barely see it. You can barely see it, but given the black t-shirt, it's going to hide a lot better, and quite honestly, people aren't going to even notice it for the most part. All right, now we've moved over to the Glock 19. Again, being the double stack is going to poke out a lot more, but you can still see, even again with this tight fitting t-shirt, it's it hides fairly well. If I was going to carry the Glock 19, I'm not going to wear this t-shirt. I'm going to wear the other one I showed you or something similar where it's a bit, little bit looser fitting so it'll hide that a bit better. Now what's fun about Kydex is you can do all kinds of different things with Kydex. You can do patterns, you can do colors, all different kinds of things. These are just pretty much your plain Jane black version, but there's different colors. There's red, there's uh, like a neon green, I mean all kinds of stuff out there for you. Also what David can do is he can do engravings on the holsters themselves. I think that would be kind of a fun idea. He actually did a nice sheath for me and put Crockett on it. And, just kind of takes that holster and it personalizes it. No one else is going to have that same holster as you do. And it's just kind of fun. But there are those options out there. 
different colors, the engravings. Like I said, guys, these are great holsters. Make sure you take a look at them. Now these are handmade in the USA. David makes these. So there is a little bit of lead time once you order those. So just be aware of that. But they're worth the wait, guys. They're great holsters. I've loved them. I'm continuing to use them as my day-to-day -day, um, CCW holsters. And also, whenever I go to the range, that's what I'm using also. I really enjoy them. I think you guys will too. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.